I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games, a series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you guys right here in this video. I can't promise you guys that they're going to be any good, but I can promise you guys that we're going to have some fun. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. First game we have in today's episode is called Traddle 64. I have no idea what the hell that means, and I have no idea why all these guys are spazzing the fuck out, but we are gonna press E to start, and we are gonna see what's up with this crazy ass shit. Okay, so we are playing as this guy, and we are in this very big and beautiful home. He walks like he has an enormous stick up his ass, and he is Trattel. He's letting you know that he's Trattel. This game is gonna be just great. I can already tell. That's all I had to do. Trattel tried to take his car to the destination he was required to go to, but the car wouldn't turn on. Dun dun dun! Bummer! Trattel arrives in a mysterious place. There's a telephone on the floor and one hanging from the ceiling. He picked up the ones that's resting on the surface and hears a gravelly voice telling him to pick up the other one and place it next to the ear that- Oh my god, I do not want to read this horse shit! Target 1, Chad Smith. So now I'm killing people? Chad is a fatty. He's usually in the kitchen whenever I pay rent. That's probably the best place to start. The way this guy looks is so creepy. Where am I going? Why is this camera so ass sauce? I got a POV shot of his asshole. What am I doing? Where am I going? No one is here, but his parade comes all over the fucking place. Best to follow those. What are those? And I'm not trying to be funny right now. What are those? Are those breadcrumbs? Are those like dingleberries that fell out of his asshole? More scrolling text! Trattel arrives in a dining room on the table in said room. He found a covered plate. When he removed the plate, he found a sniper rifle and 100,000 LP on the plate. This was most likely a bargaining chip by the target, Chad Smith. Sweet! This piano music sounds like somebody unzipped their pants and just started slapping their dick on random keys. And now I'm at a different cutscene. I don't even know where I'm going. Hey Chad, nice suit. In a hot tub. Trattel, nice seeing you in an outfit that isn't just a t-shirt and khakis. What is that? No, no, no. What the fuck is this game? And Why does he have three arms? I think he has three arms. Someone. One arm, two arms, I three arms. I see something in the middle. Is. Don't tell me that's what I think it is. You're going that has to, to be three me. arms. Oh. You killed your landlord. I didn't do shit. I was standing here with my thumb on my ass and he killed the landlord for me. This isn't a game. This is scrolling text simulator. Fuck this. This game is called SCP-3008. You're supposedly in an Ikea and I thought that was an interesting concept, but I didn't know it would be like this. There's a whole bunch of staff walking around. And they look like this. They look like deformed what the fucks. One guy is on another guy. He's probably smelling his nuts. I have no idea what the hell is going on. And then you can press 4 to die? You died on day 2 because you used the dev command, lol. Go kill yourself. I don't even get the correct yourself spelling. I get the slang of it. And it's still spelled wrong! So we can make it into night. Oh, that's pretty creepy. Okay, this is weird as fuck. Can I hit him? What? You died on day two because the staff tore you apart. No, they didn't. They walked into me with their big old man boobs, and that was it. This game is called Manspreading, and your objective is to confront all manspreaders. And I'm like, what the hell is a manspreader? So I googled it, and apparently it's a term for people who, when they're sitting down in public, they have their legs spread open. And you can't really blame a guy for sitting with their legs wide open, because sometimes you gotta let the nuts breathe, okay? You gotta let the little guys inhale and exhale, but we gotta confront all the manspreaders right now. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let me hide that text, and let's confront all the manspreaders. This guy has his legs wide open, and we gotta confront him and say, Hey, you gotta chill with that, buddy. You can't be doing that. There's kids walking around. Look at this guy. Legs wide the fuck open. Stop that! 
And he's scared. He's like, okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry. Sometimes you just gotta let the dick hang. This game is ridiculous. <laughs> At least it taught me what man spreading was. All right. No more man spreading. Put that little thing away. <laughs> Put that baby dick away. What? He doesn't care. He's nodding his head. He's like, yeah, I know I'm doing this. What's up? Put that away. Stop spreading those legs. In a town full of man spreaders, there's one who takes a stand. His name is Jay. The man who doesn't spread his legs, all he spreads is awareness. I can't find any more man spreaders. Was that seriously it? Three dudes? Three dudes with their legs open and you made a game about that? I'm like Liam Neeson in this bitch. If you have spread legs, I will find you and I will point at you. All right, guys, I think I have all the man spreaders under control. They're shook for life. They're never gonna open their legs again, not even when they pee. So I think we can move on to the next game. Wait, this guy has his legs wide open. CLOSE THOSE NASTY ASS LEGS! Last game we are gonna play is called Animal Inspector. I see it pop up all the time when I'm browsing for games to play. I was like, you know what, I've never played this game on the channel, so we might as well do it because I love animals. So no more talking, let's do it. My perfect boy. My truest friend. Noble and fierce. You'll be inspected soon. But I won't wait for that. They're hiring agents. I've already applied. You're a good dog. I won't let them take you. Yeah, I won't let them take you. Even though you low-key look like a kangaroo. What kind of dog breed was that? But yes, we are the Animal Inspector! Oh, hello there! My name is Martha! It is wonderful to meet you, dear! Are you just starting out here as well? Yes. Drag a fish to my mouth. Now why in the hell would I want to do that? Your mouth? Oh, that mouth! How exciting! Well, I am very much looking forward to this. It will be good for me to get out of the house. I just do not get out as much as I should. Do you see that young man over there? That young man? That pale old thing? Yes, I see him. I tried talking to him earlier. His name is Alan. He was a little rude. So I am glad that you are here. Oh, but enough of this. I am very excited to work with you. Well, to work near you in any case. Hee <laughs> hee. You are all of the new employees? Okay. Well, I'm in charge here. Um, listen up. This job's pretty straightforward. Every day you'll get a stack of forms. Go through each one and stamp them. Approve good or useful animals. Reject bad or useless animals, which I'll never do because I love all dogs. Don't skip any. We take this job very seriously. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. Please make sure to comment on every animal you process. Explain your reasoning. It's a legal thing. Yeah, I don't know. That's it, I guess. Cool! Yeah, sure. Okay, let's get this started. That's it? Isn't there any training? A rule book or something? Um, no. Use your best judgment. I'll let you know if you've screwed up. But try not to... screw up. Okay, you'll each find a stack of forms on your desks. I'm starting you all off easy, but please be thorough. Gotcha. Thorough is my middle name. He seems nice. You think so too, right? Sure, I guess. Just let me check the forms out. Yes, a good boss, I think. Well, it seems that our day is about to begin. It is time to go inspect some animals. Okay, shut up! We will chat some more tomorrow. Oh, God, I'm not looking forward to that. Okay, so this guy is a lowly pooch. He's age seven. He's a goof, good for petting. We all love this fuzzy dog a lot. Okay, so let's approve that and get out of here. Okay, this cat is a tiny cat, age four. The nature is aloof. Utilities kills mice. A civilian appeal. She didn't let me touch her until a few months ago, but now I pet her every day. Okay, um, looking mean, but clean. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I have no idea. How the fuck do we approve it? There you go. And next one, please. Oh my god, this cat got some big old orange eyes. It's a house cat. It's six and a half years old. 
Its utilities are a reminder of simpler days. He easily becomes afraid, but this cat is good. He is family. This cat is a pussy. And let's stamp that. And blam! So I did all three, and I'm good to go. Okay, um... Welcome back, I guess. Pretty good job yesterday. Pretty good. Some of you, and I won't name any names, but you know who you are, have been a little too liberal with approvals. The whole point of this agency is to cull the herd. That means you can't just blindly let everything through. From now on, I'll need you all to reject at least one animal. Failure to do so will result in a strike. Um, okay, yeah, that's it. Oh, and you. Okay, so this is just a warning, but please clean up your forms a little bit before turning them in. There should be a little feather duster on your desk. Standard issue. So, uh, use it maybe? Okay. Can you get off my nuts, please? Cool. Okay, good. Anyways, next time this happens, you're going to get a strike. So, um, don't let it happen. This is a big pooch, age three. Nature is in charge. Utility, strong tail. Oh yeah, you always gotta have a nice strong tail. And the civilian appeal is the dog's big. So, does that mean I need to reject this dog because the dog is big? Dog is too damn big. And rejected. Sorry about that, buddy. This is an ant farm. Fuck ants. This is a tiny pup. I mean, you can't help but love that face. It's a half year old. Nature is squeaky. Fits in a lap. This brutish pooch bit my left hand and drew blood. I think I'll need stitches. Dog. Cute. But killer this is an elder cat it's nine years old but the cat is looking at me pretty weird cat gave me nasty look denied all right let's see what they have to say about this um okay so i'm sorry to say it but old mindy has come down with the flu who you know mindy old mindy everyone knows mindy i don't know mindy in any case um well someone needs to take her place in the cages and today that someone is Alan. Although there's someone else I'd really like to put in a cage. Is he talking about me? Is he subtweeting me? Yeah? Okay, well, cool. I'm up for anything. Alan's been chosen because of his exemplary... Exemplary... Um... Exemplary? Performance here these past few weeks. Right on. You all have been doing well. So no need to worry about increased quotas. Good work out there, everyone. Hey. Okay, I have something to say. Hmm. Well, um... I didn't really think I needed to explain this, but... Well, when you comment on forms, you should, um... You should try to spell things correctly. I mean, I know mistakes happen. But your job is kind of to not make mistakes. And you made some with that last batch. Maybe you don't think spelling is important, but you're a professional now, I guess. So, uh, please try to act like it. Just a warning this time. But if this happens again, I'll have to give you a strike. If this happens again, I'll give you a strike. I didn't think this was a complicated thing, but I guess for you it was. Okay, so, um, well, I guess that's it. This was your third strike. No need for you to come in tomorrow. I'm sure your coworkers will be real pleased with the extra work. Pack your bags. You just won a no expenses paid trip to your own house. It's one way. There are no flights back. You don't work here anymore. Wow. I got fired from a virtual job. All right, guys, but that's going to do it for this episode of Free Random Games. If you guys would like to see more of this series, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too.